So let's go ahead and read the story. We're talking about how the Holy Spirit has come with this word. He is saying, is there anyone else? Now, this message is for somebody in Jesus' name. Okay, this message is for somebody. Receive what the Holy Spirit is saying. Receive it in Jesus' name, okay? Because you are being appointed in this hour. You are being anointed, okay, to be appointed in this hour. In Jesus' name, okay? So, we are going to be coming out of 1 Samuel chapter 16 verses 1 through 13 in the niv and it says the lord said to samuel how long will you mourn for saul since i have rejected him as king over israel fill your horn with oil and be on your way i am sending you to jesse of bethlehem I have chosen one of his sons to be king. But Samuel said, how can I go? If Saul hears about it, he will kill me. The Lord said, take a heifer with you and say, I have come to sacrifice to the Lord. Invite Jesse to the sacrifice and I will show you what to do. You are to anoint for me the one I indicate. Samuel did what the Lord said. When he arrived at Bethlehem, the elders of the town trembled when they met him. They asked, do you come in peace? Samuel replied, yes, in peace. I have come to sacrifice to the Lord. Consecrate yourselves and come to the sacrifice with me. Then he consecrated Jesse and his sons and invited them to the sacrifice. When they arrived, Samuel saw Eliab and thought, surely the Lord's anointed stands here before the Lord. Okay, so he like, okay, surely the Lord anointed stands here before the lord okay because he probably was looking strong and tall and you know having the appearance of a king but the lord said to samuel do not consider his appearance or his height for i have rejected him okay the lord does not look at the things people look at people look at the outward appearance but the Lord looks at the heart. Then Jesse called Abinadab. Abinadab. Sorry. And had him pass in front of Samuel. But Samuel said, the Lord has not chosen this one either. Jesse then had Shema, Shema pass by. But Samuel said, nor has the Lord chosen this one. Okay, Jesse had seven of his sons pass before Samuel. I'm sorry, I said three or four. It was seven, okay? Jesse had seven of his sons pass before Samuel. But Samuel said to him, the Lord has not chosen these, okay? Whoever this message is for, you are chosen, okay? You are chosen to be king a king and reign like a king so he asked jesse are these all the sons you have there is still the youngest jesse answered he is tending to the sheep samuel said send for him we will not sit down until he arrives okay god usually choose that one that's you know Tended to the sheep, minding his business, doing his father's will, doing what his daddy told him to do. Okay, the one that's looked over, the one that's in the back, tending to the sheep. He said, send for him. 
him, we will not sit down until he arrives. So he sent for him and had him brought in. He was glowing. Okay. David was glowing with health and had a fine appearance and handsome features. Then the Lord said, rise and anoint him. This is the one. So Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the presence of his brothers. And from that day on, the spirit of the Lord came powerfully unto David. Samuel then went to Ramah. Okay. So this message is for a chosen one. Okay. And I know that this channel is full of chosen ones, okay? Because we attract who we are, okay? We attract who we are. So if you was attracted to this video, this video is for you. This video is for you in Jesus' name. The Lord is anointing you in this hour. This is what the Holy Spirit is saying. You are anointed, okay? God is anointing you right now in this hour to get the job done. Okay? Everybody been looking over you. Everybody been looking over you because you've been in the back tending to your sheep. Okay? Doing your father's will. But now God is saying it is time for you to step up in line. Okay? It's time for you to be appointed as king and reign. In Jesus' name, this is your time. This is your appointed time. Receive what the Holy Spirit is saying in this hour. Okay, I am so excited for this work. And the Holy Spirit just dropped this in my spirit in Jesus' name. He dropped it in my spirit. I took note and I said, Lord, I got you. Holy Spirit, speak through me. Okay, because I don't know what to say. You, you go and you speak through me in Jesus' name. And that is what the Holy Spirit is doing in this hour, okay? When you get anointed, the power of God is going to come upon you. And you're going to be moving and acting and doing stuff. And you're going to think it's you, but it's really not. It's the Holy Spirit. Because you couldn't do it. You couldn't operate like this until the anointing came upon you. And when the anointing came upon David, he received power. And right now, I decree and I declare that you are anointed in this hour. You are being appointed right now to be king in Jesus' name. You are about to reign as a king in Jesus' name. Okay, so receive what the Holy Spirit is saying in this hour. I'm not going to take this message and drag it longer than I have to. You get what the Holy Spirit is saying in this hour. He said, is there anyone else? Okay. If it's you, put it in the chat. It's me. I'm here. Okay. And you know if it's you, you've been in the back for a long time doing your father's will. And now it's time for you to step up and be anointed as king. Okay. Hallelujah. We give God all the praise, all the honor, and all the glory. Because it ain't none of you, but it's all of him. The Lord God has sent this word to you in the name of Jesus. Okay? This is the Lord's doing. He is sending you this word right now in Jesus' name. And you know if it's for you, if it's resonating with your spirit, if you've been doing your father's will and you have been doing it gracefully, you have been doing it. God has been watching you. You've been back there tending to them sheep, baby. You've been out there fighting bears. You've been out there doing a lot, okay? And now is your appointed time. Now is your appointed season. You about to be blessed. You are about to receive so many blessings in Jesus name. I know that the Lord is speaking to somebody in Jesus name. 
And we just thank you right now, Holy Spirit. We thank you for this word, Father God. I thank you for the word, Father God. I receive it for myself in Jesus' name. If nobody else want to receive it, I receive it, okay? I receive it in Jesus' name. But he sent me, okay? Just like he sent out on Samuel to find out who it is, okay? Is there anyone else? Is there anyone else? Okay? If it's you, go ahead and like this comp, like this um, video and subscribe to the channel and share this message, okay? Because it's somebody else out there that is for. In Jesus' name, let's get it in the algorithm, okay? So that people can know now it's the appointed time. In Jesus' name, right now, it's your time. It is your time to shine. Everything that you've been practicing for, everything that you've been doing in the background, it's your time. It's your season, okay? So, I love y'all so much. I pray that this word bless you, okay? I pray that the Lord bless you and keep you and cause his face to shine on you. I pray that he is gracious to you and give you peace. I love y'all so much, and I pray that you have a blessed day. Peace.